Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain a typical integration scenario where I receive three records from different sources at different timestamp. I'm going to correlate all three records and once I receive all three records in a, in a fixed timestamp, uh, I'm going to perform some integration after that. So I have a URL which accepts some message and it's going to publish them into MQ, into a VMQ, for example. From that VMQ, I'm going to receive all three, uh, all number of messages and they're going to correlate. So I have two different set of records here. One is for Barani's record, another one is for Kumar's record. So Kumar's record will have three and Barani will have record three. So as soon as I enter, this is my business scenario. So I am submitting my personal records. If you go to here in the console, you can see that once it's accepts, it says that I have received a record from Barani. Uh, here it says that I have a logger, something like that. So now I'm going to press for Kumar. It is from Kumar. So now I'm going to complete Kumar's records. He's receiving the second record and the final record. So here is all my, my three records from Kumar is being grouped, right? In object store, still Barani has one record which I have posted, right? So that I'm going to finish it now. This has been posted. I'm posting the other two. So until it receives all three records, it's going to keep it in the object store. It is saying that 504 gateway error because this is having different uh, URL. What I'm going to do, Control A, Control C, Control A, sorry, Control B. Now I'm posting, second record is being posted. And the third record for Barani is posted now. We can see all three records are grouped together. After in that, uh, so how it is being done, I have used, first as soon as I received, I'm publishing them into MQ, in the v VMQ, from VMQ, I'm receiving it and keeping it in, um, I'm receiving it as soon as I, as soon as it's getting published. So I have, I have used a group aggregator to aggregate all the messages from VM, uh, depends on the group ID. So here is my group ID. What my group ID says, my group ID is payload.ename. So in all three messages, if you observe, I have ename, like your ename embedded. So this, as long as it's same, all three records will be chained based on this one. So the number of messages I have given is is the group I group uh, as well, uh, here I'm going and saying three. I'm making it big. The group size is three, so that is why this uh, instance is expecting three messages, right? So I'm giving the timeout as one day. So if you receive your first message now, and it will expect uh, the other two messages in 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 a day. Right, so if you don't receive it, it will uh, erase there. It it will erase the instance it received. So until now, until then, it will it will keep that instances alive in ob using object store. So this group aggregator is having two uh, wings one is having incremental aggregator so every time when you receive a, 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 when you receive a message which is belongs to that group it will increment the aggregate so once the agreement aggregation is complete it will perform this wing so this actual this group 
with this group based aggregator uses this group listener this group listener actually listens the and uh, listens the records correlated to the group id so this is how uh, aggregate aggregation works in the in in, uh, in typical integration world So once you receive a message, the incremental aggregation will be printed. Uh, after receiving, after rec uh, the number of messages reaches the group num group group size, it will reach the aggregation limit. Once it, once all are done, this uh, this logger will be performed. So if you go to the cons console, you can see that. See if you see, in incremental aggregation has been triggered. First, we have received it from Barani, right? So this one is Barani. The other three records are for Kumar. So it aggregated, it reached that group length. So it, it the, the logger has printed this logger. This uh, transform message is uh, aggregated uh, like this personal. So your payload one and two and three, I'm using the index and getting the payload. Then this logger actually prints the payload. Hope this helps. Thank you.